here is Bobby Boss Premium Synthetic 13 by 4 HD Deep Lace Front Wig MLF 242 Garnet. And I am wearing it in DL4613. So it comes blocky like this, but um, I was looking up like YouTube videos and other stuff on it, and it's so cool because it is free parting like this. So this is cool, but I'm not like a fan of the chunks. I don't want chunk, 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 okay? So I think this wig is super unique and smart and cool. Okay, so um, if I want to be more blonde, I just take it like this and pull it over. Um, it, the wig can be a little stubborn when you're doing this. You probably should, um, if you want to wear it like this way all day, you should um, straighten it, hot comb it, hairspray it, whatever, to get it to stay because it doesn't want to stay on its own. Uh, I want to get a little bit more of that. All right, look at the streaks here. Highlights, like this is, was such a cool, awesome wig idea to have it like this, free parting in these colors. And I love the more blonde. So pretty. You see this little piece of hair is stubborn, but I would just be like, <laughs> put it over. <laughs> All right, so let's see what the brown looks like. Even though this way, you can't go wrong this way. All right, so I'm just going to take my brush and kind of brush it down, pull it over. And now I'm just a little more brown. Oh my gosh, it's so cool. Very neat. I love, I just love both of these. And this is just 613 Blonde, you know? But with this brown, it just looks gorgeous. So, okay, here's the part. Okay, and you're, you're going to see in um, the next part, though, that you can't really wear it over your shoulders like this. Uh, because the tracking shows so here's the part up close and I thought it was like really pretty like running your fingers through it see that um I don't have it glued because you know that's how I roll but if I was going to here you go look how nice it would look nice and glued just we're just pretending that I'm running my hands through this glued wig wow okay um, let me put it back to blonde. Okay, I did a little too much there. Here's more part for you. Okay, now I'll show you the back. All right, here's the back here. I'm gonna run brush brush through a little bit. So when you're wearing it, you, this is not a wig that you can really play around with. And I will show you cause you can definitely see the tracking. It's mostly cause that blonde. So I'll show you when I put it over my shoulders, which I like to do for pictures and stuff, but you can see that you cannot do that with this wig. Man, these colors. All right, so if you're just wearing it, you know, normal, and I, I would wear I would wear a little over the shoulder action like this. We can see what that looks like.
So that, you know, is this in the front. Anyway, gonna be my new new favorite wig. I love it. Okay, so I have straightened, I took my um, hot uh, hair straightener brush and I brushed this wig over and I'm gonna be wearing it out today. I'm gonna see if it'll stay. Look, it does look a little stubborn. You see that right there? You know what, maybe I'll put a little hairspray on it and see what happens. Maybe I'll do that too real quick. So, and I'll give you an update, but you can definitely tell like it is being a little stubborn where it doesn't want to stay this way. And it's good. If it just ends up being me constantly messing with it in my face, I might just put it back, <laughs> you know? So, okay, let's, um, I'm going to hairspray it a little bit and see what happens. Look at it though. <whistles> okay. Okay. So I hairspray sprayed it a little bit. Well, maybe a lot of it. Anyway, anytime I ever use hairspray, I'll be like, I'm like, was that a mistake? Cause it does see like a little wet and streaky, but once it dries, it'll look good. So I've done, had to do that before with a different wig. So this one's really freaking pretty. Super into this wig. Oh, you know, let's get this little hair. He doesn't want to go that way. Fine. We're not going to make him go that way. All right, let me do this. I just love the highlight look. That's why, you know, the chunk look, whatever, but like this highlight look with the 613 and this brown is just like, I've been looking for a wig like this for a while, so. Okay, I've been wearing this wig for four hours today and it was hot. Alexa, what's the high temperature in Cincinnati today? Today, in Cincinnati, Ohio, expect a high of 89 degrees Fahrenheit. 89, so it was, it was hot today, um, but I felt fine. So using the hairspray and the straightener, uh, this wig has stayed like this all day. It didn't get in my face or anything. You can see it is tangly. So um, I can just get it out real quick though. Look at these highlights. I went to, a, um, so I've been wearing this wig for four hours today. I went to a farm and I went thrifting today and um, still looks really good. I just wanted to show you. So um, before I got to the farm, I brushed it. And then um, before I went inside the thrift store, I brushed it. So I did, I bring my brushes with me and I brush in between where I go. So here it is. Get it all brushed out and beautiful again. That didn't take long, see? I mean, phew. Yeah, you already know I'm obsessed with this wig. But yeah, I felt very, I felt very pretty in this wig today. So, but I just wanted to show what it looks like after wearing it for four hours. And um, yeah, once you just get it brushed out, it's fine. That's why I always just bring a brush with you with these long wigs because they will get tangly. So here's how the hairline looked. And I wore it all day and I do not glue it. So yeah, there's the wig.